What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, I need to take a minute and check a few things off my to-do list, like give Brooklyn her new body. This is one of the new made-to-move yoga Barbies that we reviewed in this video. Even though these dolls have a similar face, I'm switching them out because I like my Brooklyn with braids. So put the kettle on, bag the doll, let them soak in the jacuzzi, then remove and add the new head. And now our Brooklyn, who goes by London on the shelf, has a new athletic body. Now I need to find those tall brown boots. This is Mini Brands Fashion Series 3 with 80 plus minis to collect. I want to collect this entire series. Uh, every time I go to Target, I grab like two of these to spread out the cost. We still need this. I just found this. I need this red bag again because I need the shoes and I need these boots. Let's see, what do we have today? Oh, wow, this white tote. We get this all the time, along with a hat with a ribbon, white sunglasses, and orange wedges. But we're gonna embrace this today and come up with a little outfit. Let's look through one of our clothing binders and find something to match. I'm liking the idea of a floral dress. Maybe this one to pull out that orange or maybe, ooh, this one. Yeah, let's go with this. Cute. I've always loved this dress. It came with a Barbie fashionista. Let's add the hat. Let's add the tote bag and the shoes. In the comments, one of you said to wrap it around the ankle twice. And you were right. They stay on. However, they're still a little large for a classic Barbie. But this outfit screams summer vacay and is adorable. Let's try this dress from Amazon. Oh, that works too. And I think this made to move doll is a good match for Yasmin. I love putting brats on made to move curvy bodies. This is the new always brats Yasmin doll. She comes with a drink, necklace, lip gloss, I think, a compact with a mirror, a cell phone, sunglasses, a purse, and a brush. She has curly hair with bangs, gold flower earrings, a lavender and brown striped top with a fur collar and cuffs. There's brown lacing in the center. It's paired with a brown skirt and purple lacing. They Velcro in the back under the striped top. She wears a halter top that ties with ribbon behind the neck and she comes with brown and lavender boots. This Bratz doll has arm articulation with movement at the shoulder, upper arm, elbow, and wrist. She can also move at the hip and has a click knee. These two look like a pretty close match, so they'll be right back. Here's the Barbie on a Bratz and a Bratz on a Barbie. The skin tone match is not perfect, but it is pretty close but her workout clothes totally match her lipstick. But now we have a new Curvy Bratz to add to our collection. So far we have Regina, Whitney, Cordelia, but I despise her glitter lipstick, so she might not stay for long. And Yasmin is now Hillary. I've named them all after iconic movie and TV personalities. You know, Hillary, as in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. All right, let's find those boots. I think they are paired with the brown French purse. Ah, uh, that's a paint can. <laughs> it's the blue paint can purse on a chain and it does open. We've seen this one before. Our accessories are blue heels, a cat, and a black and silver bow. We're just gonna move on to another one. This capsule is the black and white houndstooth purse again. I like this purse, it is a double for me. And we also have black and white sneakers, a gold necklace, and earrings. This is a bag that could easily be paired with the Rebecca doll from the Ted Lasso series. It's very much a I'm headed into the office type of look. 
and she can throw on a pair of sneakers while she's walking through the city so she doesn't mess up those heels. She can hold the purse or place it on her shoulder. We can also go with something pretty simple like this Barbie style jeans and white shirt. Throw on the sneakers and add the bag for a casual look. Inside this one, we have, ooh, the red purse. It has a gold chain that can be short or long. And I'm hoping it comes with those red boots. Please, please, yes! These are stinking adorable. They are an exact match to the purse. We also have red sunglasses and red lip gloss. Let's find an outfit. I'm thinking this Hello Kitty shirt, gold skirt with the boots, bag, and glasses for something a little fun. Let's try again. This time we have, it's the tote bag again with the hat, orange wedges, and glasses. Oh no, something's knocking around in here. Don't be a paint can. No, I'm pretty certain it is. Ah. It's the pink paint can purse with pink and white sneakers, a bow, a silver colored necklace, and a cat. In the comments, you all said to use these as actual paint buckets. They kind of remind me of hotel ice buckets as well. So there are a couple of different ways to use the doubles. This is my last capsule for the day. Hopefully it's the brown boots. Mm, this doesn't feel very promising. And it is, ah, it's the pink heart purse and the black heels with a tool, a silver and green necklace, and matching earrings. You can't go wrong pairing a purse like this with some basics, like a top and a matching pencil skirt. And probably the same goes for the shoes. We just made this phone in a previous video using easy to find household items. But I wanna try something, so let's remove the flowers and get back to the basic phone. I'm also going to remove the gem in the middle and our glue dots. I put hot glue in a silicone mold to make small decorations. Use scissors to trim off the excess glue, then carefully glue them on. Paint it. I'm using nail polish. I cut out another circle. Use a hole punch to make small holes. Trim off the rest, then paint it. While waiting for it to dry, Let's take square wooden dowels. I have one that's a quarter inch and I have two that are an eighth of an inch. If you don't have or want to use square wooden dowels, you can cut recycled paperboard into one eighth and one fourth inch strips, then just stack and glue a few together to make something similar. I cut the quarter inch wooden dowel into three inch pieces, cut the one eighth strip into four to five inch pieces we need four of those, then cut several one and a half inch pieces. I'm gonna need a few more, one eighth square wooden dowels. Once I cut enough, glue them going across, creating shelves. Then glue them between the quarter inch pieces at a half inch and near the top. After gluing down one side, I glue on the other, allow it to dry to make a little shoe rack for our mini shoes. The polish on our phone is now dry. I cut two small pieces of a glue stick. I'm going to use one as a spacer and I painted the other one to match the phone. Make a hole in the center of this circle that is larger than the pen so it can spin. I push the pen through the painted glue stick, then add the circle and the other piece of glue stick then push it into the front of the phone, creating a little wheel so we can turn the dial, adding another level of play to our phone. Now it looks super fancy and totally looks like an antique. And now we have different ways that we can personalize and craft a miniature vintage phone. One that uses easy to find materials and another where you might need a silicone mold or two. We still didn't find those brown boots, but we did find the red ones. And it was fun to dress the dolls up in different outfits. And we made a shoe rack for our growing shoe collection. Thank you for joining us today. Like, 
comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. <laughs>